Hey bosses, it's Nina. So today I'm going to show you how to create an email campaign or newsletter using Active Campaign. And I'll probably go ahead and show you how to create an email campaign template either in this video or the next video, depending on how long it is. You know, I like to keep it short. Okay, let's go. So you'll see this is a layout of Active Campaign once you log in. You can sign up for a free trial. I'll leave the link below. But I've went back and forth with Active Campaign, Entreport, Infusionsoft. I haven't had Infusionsoft, but I've used it um, for clients. And this is just the easy do it all thing for me. So I think I'm going to stick with Active Campaign for a long, long time. All right. So um, this is kind of your dashboard. What I do like about the dashboard is that you can customize it. So at the top, there's these getting started items. I've never closed it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on X to close that. And if you notice, if I hover over any of these widgets is what I call them, um, I can move them to the left or right, etc. And so you'll see, and I'm gonna block this information because this is my actual account. Um, all of your contacts, you can see if it's green, it means you've had new um, contacts. If it's red, um, and actually I don't know if it's red, but I know it's green when um, you get new contacts. You can create a campaign or an autom automation or manage any of your templates right from um, the dashboard here. I usually just use the buttons at the top. Okay, I'm gonna move over to campaigns because that's what you came here for. Um, just a reminder, you can manage um, like your labels. So if you have newsletters versus advertising for a live event versus something in your group, you can actually label your emails or, or it basically categorizes them. I'm going to go ahead and click on new campaign. Okay. And let's just do test newsletter, right? And so here notice you can do a standard, which is just one time. Okay. You could also do automation. So, you know, this would be like a challenge that you're sending out or you know if someone opens something or clicks something you, they sent you send them another email all of that jazz okay next one is your autoresponder so if you say someone signs up for your mailing list that's the email you send them back split testing if you want to have two different subjects to see which one does better you can um say after so it, it'll pick up percentage say you just want to test 20 percent of your audience it will see which one does best in a day um, out of that 20% and then send the rest of your audience an email with that title. And you could, there's different things that you can actually split test on. The title, the links, see if people click it, etc. RSS triggered means an RSS feed. So for instance, if you have blogs and you want each time that you add a blog for it to automatically send out an email, you can do that here. Be very careful with that. And then date based. So basically certain holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. Um, that's something I haven't used a lot, but I'm going to start using it for my clients. Okay. Since this is just a newsletter, I'm going to click on the first one and click on next. And basically you're going to pick the group that it goes to. And I'm just going to pick anyone right now and click on next. And you can segment it out your list. We're not going to go through that because this is just basics. You can actually click on any of these and preview. So it gives you some kind of templates. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 100 per page so I can see all of them. Notice that you can select specific categories. I've purchased some. There's different ones, different templates there. Um, but you can go through and see which one matches your style. You can also get Active Campaign to create a template for you. Certain plans, it's actually included. Other plans you can pay, I don't know how much it is, I forgot, but you can have them create a template for you. Okay, you can also search at the top. Let's just do, I wanna find one with a lot of stuff. Let's see. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna use this one. It's going to ask what your email subject is. Test, do not send. Okay. Who it's going to come from. And you can have multiple people, but it has to be connected in your email, um, in your account. So you can send it from either Nina at Socially Nina, Nina at Nina Simone Consulting, Nina at LearnedIt.com, depending. So you can split up all of your different kind of categories of your company there. 
Okay, as you're going through, notice the theme is already set, but you can change this. So you can change it and put your own colors. I'm just going to... Let's just change the color so we can see. Just pick a yellow one, all right? Then as you go through and you're picking things, um, you can actually change the colors here. So that's your background color. So let's just pick green so you can see what that is, right? Your links that show up. So I, sometimes I'll turn mine pink, but you can change those to whatever, whatever color you have. And I don't know that there's any links in here. It doesn't count. The bottom doesn't count. It would be links in here your borders, etc. Notice that some of the colors that you've used are already in here. Alignment and all of those kind of things go with whatever you're clicked on. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through a couple of these things. On your right-hand side, you can insert what's called blocks. There's text blocks and you're just dragging and dropping, right, depending on where it is. There's image blocks, you can do buttons, right, which you already see that's there. Videos, which I use a lot spacers to space out, social media links, RSS feeds, all of that kind of stuff. So you can come in here and customize the heck out of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to delete this. A lot of times, whatever you're looking for, you just click in there. And if you click directly in, you can format it. Notice you can personalize additional options with people's names, and all kinds of other items that's personalized. And there's additional options down here to indent. Um, I have copied and pasted from Word that doesn't do too well. So if anything, I would just, you know, you can copy and paste your text, but the formatting doesn't paste very well. So just keep that in mind, okay? Anything that's not in here, if you click on the gear here, you can duplicate, uh, make this conditional. So depending on, some kind of condition. So if they're in a particular group, so for instance, if they're part of my Pink Boss Academy, I can um, create one email and only if they're in the Pink Boss Academy, they'll see the update. Um, I haven't used that, but I probably am. So I can just send out one <laughs> email, um, but I haven't really played around with that a lot. You can also um, hide certain things on, where is it at? Oh, right there. Hide certain things on mobile devices. Maybe it's just not good for mobile or it just doesn't apply. Um, and you can also create things like if I fill all of this out with all of my social media links, maybe I change it, edit a couple things, I could save it to my content library. Library. So if I want to use it again, I can just drag it over. And this is old, so I don't know what this is. This is when I had a thousand YouTube subscribers. I'm almost up to 5,000 now. This is cute. Okay, good. So you can actually save things that you use. Um, on the right hand side, as you can see, I haven't been doing that very well, um, but that's because I usually save it as a template. Additional options are here. Um, so this is where you, you add all of the, like the top and the bottom spacing. So if you look here on your left hand side while I'm doing this, let's just do something outrageous. Let's do 75, 75, oops, 75. Seventy-five, and you'll see the spacing around here changes depending on your padding. There's also your margin. Let's do 150. So that's your margin. So I'm just kind of exaggerating so you can see the difference. And then also the colors and borders and all that. You guys can really figure this out and kind of pick out what you want, but just wanted to show you what's available. Okay. Um, a couple of other things at the top, if you go up to right to your right hand side, this is your subject. You are going to want to fill out some of this information. So for instance, I always um, turn both of these on and make sure it's responsive and that um, there's a text version just in case that person can't open um, HTML. Um, and then I can send test emails here. So you can, and this is a great idea. I try to do it sometimes, but you can send a test email to yourself. Um, to see how the email looks before you actually send it out. Okay, the last thing you want to check is, or two things you want to check. I'm just going to skip the preview and go down to spam check. You want to make sure that you're passed for the spam check. So if you're using things like, I don't know, all caps and exclamations and free, and there's certain triggers that if you're using all of those, it will give you a score. And I think it's out of 10. 
and you want a high score saying, you know, it's not, it won't be considered spam, um, but you'll see the, the information here. Okay. The other thing you want to do is email um, client preview. And notice on the right hand side, you can go through each of them. So you can go through on Gmail, Yahoo, Apple, Outlook. Notice there's no AOL. And you can go on iPhone and um, iPad. It's, I, I don't, um, it takes a while to load. I don't know why it takes so long, but it takes a while. Okay, so as you can see in the top right hand corner, it is auto saving. It's giving me a little, oh, it's giving me a little tip. I don't wanna go through those tips. Um, and then you can click on next. And what it's gonna do is give you a summary of everything you did. It's basically going through the wizard at the top. Let me just see, there we go. So these are some of the things that we already went over, the subject, who it's from, all of that, the list it's gonna be sent to, sent from, the address. Um, also, I usually turn all of these on. I'm not gonna go through each of these, but they're basically tracking um, your audience information, okay? And then you would go to Send Now, or you can actually schedule, we did a Send Now, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on Save and Exit. Um, let me just show you the schedule real quick. This is where you schedule it, just FYI. So if it's not for today, you could schedule it for tomorrow or next week or whatever. I'm gonna do save and exit. And that's basically how you send it. The next thing you wanna do is follow the reports. You'll notice on some of these, I have view report. I'm not gonna go through those with you, but um, feel free to check it out. Again, Active Campaign is free. I do have some other videos on some apps that I love. Um, I'll include, a, video link to um, my favorite apps and also some tips and tricks on Vsita, what I use for scheduling. If you have any questions, please head over to the Pink Boss Club on Facebook. That is pinkboss.club and that will take you right to that group. Thanks. Ciao.